um, in the chat line, I just put, you know, what the global, the global open mic as it is, uh, the Explorer is like, if you want to go there and see if those places exist and let me know, <laughs> that's that. Three is uh, Sacred's uh, Facebook page and last is my email in case that's necessary. But enough of all that. I, uh, the Global Open Mic is, is it's changing its purpose. Originally, the purpose is to let people anywhere who are poets find other poets who are anywhere. And uh, then they can connect and support and understand one another better. The second purpose is that the poets would someday decide to take a poll, vote, that is to say, as poets on issues important to them, a universal voice of poetry, if we could ever have a resolution that we'd all accept. I suggest the um, Universal Declaration of Human Rights would be something we could start with as poets. So yes, we approve of that document, as did many nations at the time of the signing. But the last thing is for us to actually, as a people globally, worldwide, interconnect with one another and decide what we want, ask our own questions and find our answers. We don't have to listen to the government or the newspaper or the media or anything else. There's a ways that the people of the world could say, yes, we like this and no, we don't. And the technology is there. Anyway, so <laughs> I, I did go on, I'm sorry. This is called The Secret and it names Joe Miller a a Western mystic, as he was described in his days, he, he's, he's been passed away these uh, almost 30 years now. A lot of the phrases in here come from him or are paraphrases of something he said. And it has to do with metaphysics and that. And I'll do a few haiku at the end. Unendurable pleasure indefinitely prolonged. Now that's reverie with a capital R, I should think. Seekers seek for years while reality consisting of this, the present of the present, that precious ephemeral now, which truly is the only gift that keeps giving, and breathe it in, live with it, find quiescence of mind. And in so doing, allow your release, relief from your weighty temporal baggage, all those shoulds of your past, the vague coulds of the future, the vast array of conditionals, all the ifs, if thens, thens, might, or should be's, and the dreadful, dreadful oughts of darkness. Don't they just drag your perfect body? Do you enjoy being dumped into those eternal moments which never really exist? Are you having fun with memory traps, which are just that, no matter how sweet or dear? Do you enjoy endless wishing for this or that or the other, getting lost in the antithesis of finding out who you are? Huh? You can have the great, wonderful free-for-all, the grand giveaway of all time that everyone is heir to. You have a built-in do-it-yourself kit, the proverbial hotline to the big burner. Seekers, don't be fooled by wily charlatans because it can't be handed down over, palmed off. It can't be bought or taught, as the man said. It's got to be caught since it only gives itself away ever and forever, never leaving you alone or wanting, never needing any additions from you or subsequence for that matter. Anytime all you have to do is enjoy sharing the bounty of its endless preserves, which renders it elusive to greed. And precious though it is, is no more substantial than any dream could ever hope to be. It's as common as water. Being simplicity itself, it reduces all complexity to nothing. Eternal as it is, it is always now. And so it is, and so it is, just as life itself is a gift without attachment, condition, or limit. So breathe the free air, my friend. Take the step, enjoy the gift we all share, unendurable pleasure, indefinitely prolonged with the perfection of love, harmony, and beauty, the only intimate being, the light of the soul. When a simple indrawn breath, a wish upon a star, any moment, of peace will get you there. <laughs> so uh, there's that. <laughs> now, I don't know where my time is. Do I have a time for a few haiku? 